How's everybody doing? Gerald Valley here. And today we're going to talk about the power you have here, the power of thought and how you can affect your body, not just emotionally, but physically, you can alter the tract of your healing. And I'm going to give you a great example right now now. And make sure to like, subscribe, share this, all that kind of good stuff, because it's just information that I'm speaking about from experience, and it can help everybody, everybody. So about four years ago, I'd break a leg, and I seriously, I broke my leg, and I had never had a cast in my life. As surprising as that sounds, hundreds of stitches, I've super glued my teeth in, I freaking, I actually fractured my skull in 2001, but I had never had a cast. So I will um, recount the experience as quickly as I can. I was skateboarding at a skateboard park, a uh, 10 and a half foot deep bowl, pretty gnarly pool, uh, doing a favor for a friend. He was teaching his uh, photo class how to shoot action shots. And so we went through, we had been shooting about an hour and I started doing hand plants or inverts in the big bowl. The photographers loved it. So I kept doing them and I would look at their picture and I'd be like, nah, I can do one better. And I think anybody who rides a skateboard at a high level can relate to this. You're like, yeah, I can do it better. I can make it look better. And so we kept doing them. And on the last one of the day, uh, not calculated the last one of the day, what, but what ended up being the last one of the day, I do an invert. I come back in, my back foot slips off my board and goes a little sideways. And I get up limping around a little bit. I'm like, yeah, I think I twisted my ankle. So I take some laps around the bowl. I go hit a smaller bowl, check it out. I'm like, you know what? I'm sorry. Uh, give me a couple of weeks. I'll go put my ankle in a bucket of ice. We'll get this going again on another day. I totally apologize. And um, I actually helped them pack up their bags. And I'm, you know, packing up their bags. I hang out for a little bit. A friend of mine named Matt was there and they shot a few more shots of him. And I make my way home. I get home. My ankle's a little jacked up, put it in some ice. The next day, it's turning all kinds of colors. So I go to urgent care and they say, we think that you cracked that little bone in the bottom of your leg right in half. And I'm like, hmm, you know, I don't understand because I was still skateboarding on it. I did my thing. But anybody in uh, extreme sports who does some high energy stuff, when you got your adrenaline going, you don't realize uh, maybe the pain you're in or you, you can play through it. I swear, if I could have walked on this thing, we would have been shooting more inverts that day. But the way it turned out, he tells me I have a cracked uh, bone in my leg. I go see the best surgeon I can find, the dude that, that works on the Detroit Red Wings. I mean, he's the top of his game. And he says, yes, Gerald, you have a, that bone is cracked right in half. And we're going to have to put a plate in there. So they schedule the surgery re really quickly. It was a couple, three days. He puts a plate in my leg, which was amazing. I'm in there for four hours and it's done. And on the three-week follow-up, he looks at the x-rays and he says, uh-oh, you know, we, we think, actually, I, I'm seeing that the bottom of the big bone in the bottom of your leg is fragmented. So I had broken the little one right in half and the bottom of the bone of the other one was in pieces. And he had to put uh, these, I think you can see them, these screws, because I got them taken out. These screws, they look like freaking deck screws, were holding all the pieces of the bottom of that bone together. But the subject of this video is as I left the office that day, this was June 21st, the original incident happened. So three weeks after that, you know, the second week of July, he says, you might be walking by October. You might be walking by October, no guarantees. Well, I know me, I have to stay mentally busy if I'm gonna be immobile. And for a couple months, couple, three months, I was planning on being immobile and being a recovered addict, I know that if I'm sitting stagnant and I have nothing going on, I could get in trouble. So I start, I mean, I start mentally getting busy, working on things. And also, I would mentally exercise my broken leg almost every day. As I was sitting on the front porch watching baseball across the street, I'd be doing mental workouts and I could feel the muscles inside the cast expand and contract. I would talk to my leg and send healing vibes. And this happened every single day. I would exercise, go through my gym routine, go through this positive mental 
state that that was incredible, and I would talk to my leg. Well, on Octo uh, August 27th, so again, we're at June 21st, the original incident. Three weeks later, second week of July, I get another surgery. So we're looking at, what is that, you know, four or five weeks later? The doctor, he uh, does some x-rays on August 27th, and he's he's like, you know, they were planning on putting another cast on, and he cut my cast off. And he's like, I'm not sure what you're doing, Gerald, but you're good to go. You're healed. And I said, what about physical therapy? And he said, again, I'm not sure what you're doing, but you don't even need physical therapy if you don't want it. And so I walked out of the office August 27th and yeah, my foot was tingling. It was tingling quite a bit because it hadn't touched the ground in almost two months or a little over two months, but I could walk. And now it was time to start building more of that muscle back because, you know, I couldn't do it all. I was mentally working out my leg, but still I needed some physical exercise to get back to 100%. So August 27th, I get the cast off. By the second week of September, the doctor said I could start rolling around on my skateboard again and start riding my bike and, and getting some of that strength back. And all of this, because I made a choice to put some mental effort in and help what the doctor was doing, help it along the way by my positive mental attitude, by going through the exercise, visualizing the workouts, visualizing my leg being 100%. Uh, it, it, it is amazing what the mind can do on a physiological level with the body. And it works. It works 100% of the time and it goes uh, it, it completely goes against what many of you probably believe. You probably think it's hogwash. You probably heard about things like this and are like, yeah, whatever. Well, I'm telling you, I've lived it. It works. You can ask me about it. If you see me anywhere, ask me about how the power of my brain has done the most amazing things in my life. And in my new book, DIFY, I talk more about that. And it'll be coming out if it's not out already when you're watching this video. But the power of your thoughts can change your life, not only from an emotional perspective, but from your personal drive, from a physiological perspective. How you talk to yourself matters. So pay more attention to that on a daily basis and you will see your life change for the better. And with that, I want to say thank you very much for tuning in today. Hope you got something out of this. Maybe take some notes. Maybe check out some other videos I'm doing. Follow me on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, all that stuff. Make sure to like and subscribe this video. Share it with your friends. And uh, let's make positivity go viral. I want to thank you guys very much for tuning in. I am Gerald Valley, and I appreciate your time. Come on!